five tips to lose weight without tracking your food. One of the common frustrations I hear from clients and people in my messages on a weekly basis is how or can I lose weight without tracking every freaking calorie I put in my body? I think one of the common misconceptions is that you have to track your food in order to lose weight. Now, I will say, you cannot beat a law of physics. You cannot beat the law of thermodynamics, which states you have to consume less food than your body burns on a daily basis in order to lose weight. However, I'm going to give you five tips, five strategies you can use that don't involve tracking your food. Now, if you're continually overeating while doing these strategies, you will not lose weight. However, if you are strategic in how you implement these strategies, you can most definitely lose weight and see progress on your journey. And honestly, if you do these things right, you can actually keep the weight off. Now, before I dive into the good stuff, my name is Coach Tyler. I've been an online coach and personal trainer for the past six years. I've helped over 455 clients completely transform the way they look, feel, and perform in their everyday lives. And I'm going to use that experience to help you level up your results on your journey. So let's dive into the good stuff. I'm extremely excited to share these things because they're not typically things you'll hear or have other coaches tell you. And that's because they're not for everyone. But if you're someone who's very resistant to tracking food, there's probably some things you have in common with other people that don't like tracking their food. So this ties into number one, which is throwing away your scale. The scale is something that will oftentimes lie to you. The scale is going to tell you to go up and down and up and down, and it's something that's so unpredictable. One thing that we don't always really think about is that our body is 70% water. So based off the sodium, based off of your stress levels, based off your carb intake, the water levels inside your body can fluctuate massively. Sometimes up to 5% of your body weight can fluctuate on a daily basis. That means your weight can fluctuate anywhere from 2 to 10 to 15 pounds on a daily basis depending on how much you weigh. So one of the biggest distractions on your journey can be the scale. The scale can ultimately be a predictor of how you feel that day, your confidence, your energy, and that's the last thing you want. So to really, to really, really get a good idea of where you're going on this journey, what I highly suggest is progress photos. Photos of yourself once a week, every Friday. Just take a photo of yourself and put them in an album on your phone. Don't compare them. Don't look at them. Just take a photo front, back, and side, or even just a front selfie photo, and that will be plenty to gauge your progress. You do not need a scale to gauge if you're seeing progress. Again, the scale may just throw off your mindset and prevent you from staying on track. Or the scale can make you frustrated and pissed off in the morning and lead to a binge eating episode. So the scale can be something that really holds you back. And if this is you, throw that damn scale away and you can move forward, see great results without actually weighing yourself. Now, really quick, if you could just take one moment to subscribe, follow on whatever platform you're on right now, and also if you're on YouTube to like this video, it would mean the absolute world to me. Now for number two, don't eat food while distracted. One of the most common things I see is people eating food in front of their TV, on their phones, on their iPads, and being distracted while you're eating turns off a lot of your awareness to signals such as being full or enjoying the actual food you're consuming. And so you're more likely to eat more, you're more likely to continue stuffing your face, and you're not going to realize when you're actually full. This very commonly will lead to you over consuming food when you don't need to. A lot of the times, what we need to aim for is just feeling satisfied from food, not overly full or stuffed. And being 
conscious, aware, and present while you're eating can play a huge role in you actually seeing weight loss. Because when you're distracted, like I said, you're more likely to overconsume. So putting your phone away, turning the TV off, and being present, having a conversation with someone you love while you eat your food, or just sitting in silence and enjoying every bite you put in your mouth can make a massive difference in your weight loss results. Give this one a try. I promise you, you'll be amazed with the difference you see when you're eating food and actually present while doing so. And a little pro tip for this topic is to set your fork, spoon, or whatever utensil you're eating with down between every bite and then pick it back up. Another thing I commonly see while people are distracted is they're grabbing the second bite before they're even done chewing or enjoying the bite that's actually in their mouth. So setting down the fork makes you intentionally enjoy that food, continue chewing and fully swallowing that food before going for the next bite. Give that tip a try, I promise you, you'd be amazed. The third unconventional weight loss tip is actually sleeping better and longer. We all know we should sleep seven to eight hours every night. What people commonly don't know is how that sleep actually affects your weight loss journey. When we're not getting good quality or long enough sleep, we tend to have higher food cravings. You'll tend to make worse decisions around your eating habits. You'll tend to grab foods that are more satisfying, palatable, and highly processed. And this is gonna prevent you from seeing that weight loss you've been trying so hard to accomplish. On top of that, quality sleep will enhance your muscle building results, helping you actually recover better, see more energy on a daily basis. When you have better recovery and more energy, you're more likely to be motivated to go to the gym. You're more likely to get more steps on a daily basis. These will have massive impacts on your weight loss journey. So give this a try and don't be afraid to try different things to improve your sleep. I made an entire video and I don't wanna bore you with all my sleep tips. So go and watch this video that I'm gonna tag up here and in the description that dives deep into how to fix your sleep if that's something that you struggle with. Hopefully that tip is helpful for you because I had a feeling you didn't really know sleep could have such a big impact on your weight loss results. Tip number four is avoid liquid calories. That smoothie you love to make on a daily basis might be the reason you're not losing weight. It is way easier to make a thousand, two thousand calorie shake than it is to eat a plate full of whole foods even close to that amount of calories. So one big, big, big mistake people make is drinking their daily calorie intake. Replacing those liquid calories with actual food will make it a lot harder to overconsume. Not only that, but if you're someone that loves alcohol, sports drinks, sodas, those things often contain way more calories than you can think, and they add up pretty quickly. So to avoid that mistake, to keep your calories low, try staying away from liquid calories. Another mistake people make is having that morning coffee and having a bunch of cream and sugar and all those things inside their coffees, making it super high calorie. And what's beautiful about the day and age we live in now is that they have zero calorie substitutions for many of these options. Zero calorie sodas, zero calorie coffees, sugars, creamers. They have so many options to avoid you from drinking your calories. Just simply replacing these liquid calories with foods that you actually enjoy will make a massive difference to how full and satisfied you feel from having your meals. And it's also gonna help you stay in a deficit and also gonna have an impact on your weight loss journey. What's crazy to me is I actually had a client who would drink five or six sodas on a daily basis. And one of his struggles was cutting those out. And one of the craziest things ever was seeing that over time as we cut those sodas out and replaced them with zero calorie sodas is he actually started to lose weight. And within three months, he lost 20 pounds by doing that one thing, replacing his sodas with zero calorie sodas. It was that simple. And since changing to zero calorie sodas, we've actually been able to make more changes to his eating habits without having to track any food. And the most beautiful thing ever is seeing his transformation to where he's now down 90 pounds. 
and it all started with getting rid of those liquid calories. And the last of the five tips is the protein in plants rule. So moving forward, something I highly advise you do is to make sure every meal you consume has protein and plants. It is much, much, much harder to overconsume food when it is high in protein and you have some sort of high fiber vegetable source in that meal. So if you make sure that every meal you do consume, even if your meals aren't always the same, even if your meals aren't always scheduled or planned out, if you make sure that the next time you go out to eat, that meal has some sort of protein source and plant source, you're going to be much more likely to stay on track. You're going to be less likely to overconsume and more likely to lose the weight you've been wanting to get rid of. Now, I hope these tips were extremely helpful, but here's what I don't want you to do. Do not, I repeat, do not do all five of these. What I want you to do is pick one or two of these rules that really stand out to you and stick to them for a short or long period of time. And as they start to stack and as you start to see results, add the second, third, fourth, fifth, then you can work up to five, but do not do all five of them at once. And as you build the skills and as you get in better routine, when you can implement all five of these things, I can almost guarantee you're going to see much better results without having to track your food, which is why you are watching this video. So I hope today you learned something new and I hope you got a ton of value from what I went over. And thank you so much for sticking around to the very end. I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace.